Hey guys, uh, this next presentation is going to help us understand ideas from chapter 6. You guys have been sent a bunch of videos on your announcements page, so please, please make sure that you watch those. Hey, so we're going to set up a couple of our cost curves. So whenever we're building our cost curves, we've got cost on the vertical and quantity on the horizontal. We're going to leave marginal cost out of this presentation, and we want to focus on average total cost and average variable cost. So average total cost, it's an up parabola. We're just drawing it based on the concept. There's no data here. So we know that, that when marginal costs are falling, they pull the average down, and when marginal costs are rising, they pull the average up. So this is the shape of average total cost. Remember, average total cost is total cost divided by quantity. Now, I'm going to throw in our average variable cost curve. Average variable cost is always going to be below the average total cost. The average variable cost can never touch or uh, to intercept or intersect the average total cost. Average variable cost always has to be below it and that's the whole purpose of this video. So I'm going to just sketch it in. Average variable cost is going to be uh, sorry guys, average variable cost is going to be the total variable cost divided by the quantity. So these look pretty good. You've got your equations there. We can see that the average variable cost, it follows a similar pattern. Uh, when output's low, your variable costs are low, and when output's high, your variable costs rise quickly because variable cost is a cost that changes with quantity. Um, what we really want to do is spend some time talking about this space that's in between the ATC and the AVC. So we know that one of the ways to formulate ATC is to say, well, you can take total cost and divide by quantity. Another way is to say, I can get ATC by taking my average fixed cost plus my average variable cost. So if I just sum up my average fixed cost and my average variable cost, I get my average total cost. So classmates, that's why these two schedules can never touch or cross or intercept. ABC can never be higher than ATC. And that's because of this AFC, this average fixed cost. So when we're looking at this cost graph here, what you're really doing is you're, you're looking at this equation. Classmates, the space that's in between the AVC and the ATC is the value of the average fixed cost. It's kind of like the force field of the average fixed cost separating those two costs. We're going to use the idea of this space quite a bit in the future for a very, very special kind of analysis called the shutdown point. So we always want to remember whenever we're graphing these out, average total cost that's always going to be the highest one because it's a combination of the average of the averages it's going to be the highest one because it's a combination of the average variable and the average uh, fixed cost we know that the average variable cost is going to follow a similar pattern but be below it and remember your average uh, the space between the average variable cost and the average total cost is higher when the quantity is low. That's because your average fixed costs are high when the quantity is low. And it narrows when the quantity is high because your average fixed costs really drop as the quantity goes up. And that, that further reinforces that this is, the space is, the space of the average fixed cost. Hey, make sure that you guys do your reading, check those announcements, watch those videos, and have some happy viewing. We'll see you next time.